Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com. We love our DeWalt DW735 planer. We love it even more because we've installed Wixie's WR510 digital readout on this machine. But the question may arise, how do we know this is giving the right readout? Well, let me show you the simple procedure of how to calibrate it. Stay tuned. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. This is a great tool. It's been an excellent addition to our shop, and it's been made even better by installing Wixie's WR510 digital readout. But the question is, how do we know what it's saying on the display is really the thickness of the board? We're gonna walk you through the simple calibration procedure that Wixie itself provides through their instruction sheet. Something I've learned about machines is whatever they cut is the reality. So whatever comes out of this after you've cut it, everything needs to be adjusted to the final thickness of the piece of board, not the other way around. You don't try to adjust the machine to gauges and turrets and settings. You let it be what it is and then calibrate everything to it. And it's in the same spirit and approach, Wixie has this little instruction that just says, the first thing we're gonna do is run any board through this, uh, and let the thickness of that board then be used to calibrate this. So let's go ahead and run a board through this, making sure that both sides are planed so the entire board is of uniform thickness, and we'll use that to calibrate the gauge. Okay, so we have a board of just random thickness. Notice that all I did was run it through till I could get it to plane both sides, and now I have this board. Now what we're gonna do right here is we're simply going to lift the scale on the Wixie. See this right here? So that's lift and then it'll be placed back on. There's a foot right here. So all we're gonna do is lift this, put this on and lower it. Now you wanna make sure you're not lifting the board like this, tilting it and all that. Put it flat on the foot and do that. Now the next thing you're going to do is hold the calibration button three seconds right here We'll do the uh, on, off calibration. I'm gonna hold it and just press and hold until it all reads triple zero. And there we go. So now it's seen, when I drop that down, now it's saying that this is one and five sixteenths. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my bench hook ruler on it, hook ruler, which gives me a much uh, more accurate, and it's precisely one and five sixteenths. So now I know what this readout is saying is what it's going to produce. Hey, stay tuned for the next video where we show you how to adjust the turret system so that the turret system is reading the same as this and you can preset common cuts using DeWalt's turret. And while you're at it, check out this other video that YouTube thinks is perfect for you that matches your interests. We'd enjoy it if you watch it too. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com really enjoying this planer setup.